that's the teachers. You see what I'm saying? But as far as rap money, ain't nobody making that much rap money to be trying to separate yourself from everybody. So what we try to do, we try to get together. Because that's the difference with the Bay Area and you're down south. You see what I'm saying? When movements happen, that's because E-40 is messing with this dude, this dude, and that dude. And Bum Biggie don't throw everybody out because we're down south. Because that's how you go to movement. Yeah, you take that and branch out. It's seeing the big, it's really just more than seeing the, the bigger picture. Not, if it's not about your ego, then it's going to make way more sense to you. You know, it can't, doesn't always have to be about the only dollars. Sense. Dollars aren't always really in the form of a dollar. You know, exactly. Like a green piece of paper. A fan is worth way more than a dollar bill. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Or someone hearing your music and it reaching them is way, way more valuable than money. But cats really don't seem to see the bigger picture like that. They don't see the cross promotion of supporting other cats so that they support you. Don't that make just common sense? If you <laughs> fool somebody, you automatically are brought into the, all that people's six degrees of separation. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to hear your music too. So what's to lose from? Which is the basis of our town. The biggest little city ever. You know what I'm saying? It's a big city that everybody knows each other. Our rap should reflect that. People rap shouldn't be, it's just me and my five homies that's listening to this. It should be everybody. You see what I'm saying? So, I ain't mad. No, I ain't mad because if somebody else would have did it, it took our money. So now we're going to do it. And we're going to be the first ones on it, and then they're going to look back on it, and they're going to be like, they're the ones that brought everybody together. And I'm cool with that. Open stand. I ain't trying to man, be kidding. Man, pay respects to the people in this town, man. If you're from Kalamazoo, or you're red, or you went to grade school here, pay some respects to the cast that actually did try. I bet, I guarantee it was harder for them at the time they was trying to get yeah. on these stages. Now it's like kind of a place where somebody has a computer and they want to rap, they can be on these council stages in no time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of these cats was out here. You know, the Jack and Max, the Ed Genesis, a lot of these cats been out here, the Schizos, these cats been out here for a long time, man, so I always pay homage to uh, the Count Zoo cats. Yeah. And you will see us doing some music with them cats too. I yeah. need a song with each of them niggas. Where is Schizo? Nigga, let's do a song. <laughs> Quit playing, man. Schizo will actually be here shortly, so Ooh. everybody gets to see you. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I really respect where you're coming from. I Part of it, and I feel like too many people just aren't on the same level. Right? I mean, from some of the people that I have had the opportunity to speak with, you know, here on the Margarita Mix, everybody's kind of thinking the same way. We just kind of need to get together. And I feel like with what we've got already, we can change the whole climate here, and everybody else will have to. Man, five seconds. It's wow. Yeah. It's the, it's, it's the music of the people. It's really simple. You know what I'm saying? Though. It's common sense. It's just like the people come together. I mean, there is a line, though. That I think that I, I'm not going to sit here and just be uh, ignorant. This is bliss to the situation to say there's not a line. Some people ain't cut out for the whole movement. Like, you know, like that. That's and, just being real. Some people, you have to, I think you have to pay your dues to get you. And like, as long as you own your craft and you're about your showmanship, I don't really care what your music is. I don't have to like your music. Every, you know, everyone's cup of tea is different. I like Zen tea. That's my favorite green tea. You know right. What I'm but everybody <laughs> likes their own cup of tea. You know what I mean? So that's really what it comes down to. But some people are just, it's not about that. It's more about the way you go about it than it is about the actual music to me. Yeah. So, um, y'all just kind of like segued into everything that I normally have. So y'all been doing everything. <laughs> but, we overstand it. <laughs> That's what it is. What the voice is that? My drink getting low? Uh, oh no. We can't not have a drink here. I'm already reading it, so it's not a drink. But uh, one thing that I do want to know uh, who were some of your influences? Like back in the day, since I mean, I'll just go on and put it out there. Y'all went to school together, so we're the same age ish. I'm not claiming exactly how old I am, but anyway, <laughs> so from like that particular area, or era, I should say, uh, like what, who did you hear when you're like, okay, this is what I have to do with my life? Nah, it's getting hard to tell. Mm -hmm. Woke up, I swear to it sounds like a story, but it's real true. Woke up, middle of the night, and Rap City was on, he used to be on late like yeah, that. Yeah. And Hard to Tell was on. I ain't even heard of him before. I saw that video, I heard that beat, and the, the video, the presentation, with him on that stage, and, you know what I'm saying? And, I, and that Mike Jack beat, you know what I'm talking about, in the background? I was like, that's me. Yeah, I, I, I could go right now, and I would like to just walk around with Walkman and like, go oh, set tape for right now. Like, that was just so many people there. That time, I'd say Outkast has been one of the groups that's always kind of like more that's really had an influence on my music more than like lots of people had influence on my life and 
Yeah. I think words and stuff. Like, yeah. Outcast in terms of like, you know, it's my music. I say Outcast, and uh, 45, 45, I should have bought it. Probably two artists from the 90s and before, you know, that still influence my music. Like, I still incorporate that style. Right. Um, it's undeniable. I mean, I used to ask has changed. So out of most of the cats who are considered mainstream right now, is there anybody that you guys, you know, are kind of hustling with to like where you know, okay, you mainstream but I still feel you or Oh of course Jay Z, you know. Um Kanye, reluctantly because Kanye's trying my patience, you know what I mean? Wait, 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 wait. Reluctantly. Because he tried he makes Kanye <laughs> makes the kind of music that he don't even like. He's the William He Shaker just makes of, it to do it. Producing now, he just like overproduces all his records. Just to do it. The only thing I can say negatively about him, I, I still feel all day. All day. But that's true. I don't really understand the question. He's saying like, oh, the catch people that's not coming out now. Yeah, that that can Black and don't black hit me. It's pretty kind of like to me that they have the highest replay value of uh, like today's definitely hip hop music. Like, I think Kendrick, all of them. Oh man. So, they're responsible for this album being made right now. Really? Oh man, I go through it. I retire like every two years. I'm just like, I'm done, I quit. And I'm he not called really me too up. Much into the hip hop is dead. Like, <laughs> the cries of hip hop being dead, though, because people always say that, but it's like one just absurdly whack cat comes out and then he was act like it's never happened before. There was like always like a oh, super whack cat that was out when music was good. You know what I'm saying? And there's always been cats that stayed consistent. You know, nice yeah. Jay Z, all these guys are stay consistent the whole way through. The scope might have changed, but. No, it's just um, uh, like a flock of flame has. <laughs> Well, you don't have to bleep, bleep that, you know what I'm saying? But hey, he, he whack, I don't care. Yeah, I don't like that nigga. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't mind that gangster stuff. I mean, my name's Dave Gutter. I'm from the hood. Trust me. Meet my baby mamas. I'm from the hood. Trust me. <laughs> Trust. But I don't like Waka Flocka Flame. Is he the type of cat that make people think that you don't need to know how to rap to rap? You understand? If you hard enough and you can put on the white beater and look nice in it with some braids, you can be a rapper. You ain't got to know how to put mic check one, two, and two together. You just got to meet the criteria. And I don't like that, because it should be about the message. You know, I normally don't talk to much of anybody. Anyway, the first time I ever heard Black Black was on Pandora. I can't even read. Oh.